Hello everyone, welcome to another home workout video. Um, I'm happy to announce that we're gonna change a bit the format of the video. So now instead of us working out with you, uh, we're actually gonna show you the movements and give you some tips on the workouts. And the reason we decided to do that is that since, at least here in Belgium, it has become a bit longer than expected, the fact that we're working out from, from home, uh, we think that this type of videos will give you more value uh, than the ones we were doing before. So, uh, this is all to get you better, to accompany you in a better way in your path of fitness. And, well, as I said, from now on, uh, we, the coaches, are going to start making the videos in a bit more explicative way, if you, if you wish. So, everything is still on the description. Uh, the only, let's say, difference is that we're gonna go through each one of the movements in the warm up and in the uh, workout with some tips uh, during the explanation. So that's why I still have the material here to explain you everything we're gonna do today. So for today's workout, we have an AMRAP of 12 minutes, so it is a short um, workout of eight lateral burpees over your dumbbells or kettlebells, 10 uh, step-ups or lunges with your kettlebell or your dumbbell, and 12 single arm clean and jerks, okay? Again, dumbbell or kettlebell, depending on what you have. And for the warm-up, we have a series of exercises that I'm gonna explain right now before going to the movements in the workout, okay? So the first movement in your work in your warm up, if you look at the description, are uh, jumping jacks. I think we all know what they are. Just go up, touch your thighs, and those are jumping jacks. You're gonna do 50 of them. Then you're gonna pass into ankle rocks, which is going down in a lunge, going forward and going backward, going forward and backward. You do 10 on one leg, then you switch 10 on the other leg, okay? Make sure your heel is all the time in the contact with the ground. After those ankle rocks, we're gonna do five active samson. Samson means I go and lunge, I put my hands uh, over my ears, I stretch forward, then I go on the other side, same thing, and then I do a front squat, sorry, an air squat. So, one lunge, one lunge, and an air squat, that's one rep, we're gonna do five, and then we're gonna go to do 30 mini tuck jumps. Um, it's mini because we're still warming up, we don't want you to go extremely fast or intense in your warm up. So, if you do a tuck jump normally all the way up, I want you to keep your knees a bit lower, and you're gonna do 30 jumps. And finally, last movement of the warm up is 10 Kang squats. Uh, a Kang squat, or the objective, is to go into a good morning position, then go down into a squat, go into the good morning position, and come back up, okay? So it's a combination between a good morning and a squat. Okay, that will prime your lower back and of course your legs to do the movements we need to do today. Okay, so now that we're done with the movements in the warm up, we can go see the movements in the workout. Okay, first are the lateral burpees over your dumbbells. Um, if you want to put two dumbbells to jump a bit further, feel free. If not, since we're only going to use one dumbbell for today, uh, you can use only one dumbbell to jump. Whenever we're doing lateral jumps, it's not necessary to extend our hips every time, okay? That means we can do a burpee, we just put our feet on the ground, and we can jump to the side without extending the hips. This will help us go way faster 
but be mindful that your cardio will be taxed on this format because you're just jumping faster and doing the burpee uh, in less time. The other option, if you feel that your cardio is going really high, you do extend your hip, you step to the other side, then you do a burpee, you come up, you step again, and that will uh, help you have a better rhythm during the whole workout. Now, the box step ups. Uh, sorry, it's box step over, which means we would have to go to the other side of the box. But for example, if you're at home and you're doing this with a chair, which is a perfect substitute, uh, you can do box step ups, which is totally fine. And the most important uh, thing we want to do is that your chair, if possible, needs to be below, sorry, above your uh, kneecap. Why? Because in that way, we simulate the depth of a squat. So if this is below your knee, you will not reach or you will not simulate the same depth as in a squat. Okay, so I need you to have something to step over um, that is a bit higher than your knee. Okay, second and probably the most important thing when we're doing box uh, step overs or step ups is that I don't want my chest to be in contact with my knee, especially if I'm gonna have my dumbbell. Why? Because th this means my back is gonna start. Uh, curving, it's going to be not in a good position and it can eventually get sore. So, if you want to cue for uh, this type of movement, just think chest up as when you're doing a squat, chest up and then you go up, okay? Um, for today, there's no indication if the dumbbell has to be in the front rack, uh, overhead, on a suitcase position, it doesn't matter actually. Um, probably the most comfortable thing you can do with your dumbbell is just rest it in your shoulder and from here do your step up, okay? If you have a kettlebell, it's a bit more complicated than to just rest it. So probably you'll have to hold it in a goblet squat position or maybe hold it with both hands on one side because they're notably bigger than a dumbbell, okay? And the final exercise is the 12 single arm dumbbell cleaning jerk, okay? Uh, it doesn't say hang, so it means every time we have to start from the floor. So every time you start from the floor, uh, you can start with the dumbbell in the middle or in the side, however you want. Me personally, I find it more comfortable in the middle. So remember, keeping your back straight, keeping your chest up. Uh, this is not a bar, so I can really go lower in a, actually an air squat position. And from here, start my clean. Remember, the most important thing to generate enough power to bring the dumbbell here is to open your hips. Okay, so my back is straight, I squeeze my butt, I open my hips, and my dumbbell is in my shoulder. And from here, we do a jerk. You can do a push jerk, or even if you want with a dumbbell, you can do a split jerk with your dumbbell, as you wish. The only thing I want you to pay attention on it is on the dip when you're pushing your dumbbell, okay? Make sure to have your back straight, open your knees, and push that dumbbell, okay? I think we covered all the movements regarding warm-up and workout. Um, it's only 12 minutes, but they are movements that tend to fatigue us really easily, which means still be mindful of having a pace, even though it's 12 minutes, okay? It's not that much, 
you can and you should go fast, but you shouldn't be completely out of breath after five minutes. Okay, so still be mindful of a pace. Um, I think the only thing I forgot to tell or to mention is that if you don't have anything to step up, like a chair or something, uh, you just take your dumbbell in a goblet position and you do a lunge, okay? And you do 10 per side. Um, yeah, well, now yeah, I think we covered everything. Um, <coughs> sorry, after every session, I'm still gonna give you an accessory, let's say, or an extra work if you still have the time to put it in. Uh, the accessory we have for today is actually a recovery run of 30 minutes. Uh, please note that we don't put any distance there, okay? It's a recovery run, it should feel light, it should feel good on your body. Um, if at some point after the first 15 minutes, you start feeling really sore and really tired from the running, you can stop because it's a recovery run, okay? That was 30 minutes as a target time, but it's still recovery, okay? So uh, I hope you enjoy this format a bit more than the other ones. Uh, please, if you have any suggestions, any comments, whatever, put it in the comment section below, or as you know, contact us through Facebook, um, so that we can get better and still help you uh, in this weird times we're navigating, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Take care.